buying new things to get ready for the start of the school year. If you haven't already, our back to school coverage continues now with a look at how to be a smarter shopper. We're joined by our friend Laura Mail, who runs the local chapter of the Better Business Bureau. Good morning. Good morning. So we get to talk about one of my favorite topics, which is actually reading in detail <laughs> everything that's put in front of you. So new students, yeah. you know, parents, everybody are going to get all of these forms. You can't just start signing without reading. No, you have to read everything from uh, you know filling out a form for school. Do they really need your social security number, your address, your birth date? To uh, when you're looking at an ad and going to make a purchase, make sure you read the fine details. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, and when we're going to stores, it seems like there are a lot of deals out there. People advertising different ones. If it's too good to be true, it's probably too good to be true, right? <laughs> yeah, you know, mom is usually right, and she always says, if it's too good to be true. It is. Yeah. Um, a lot of those ads are misleading. In fact, we had over a thousand complaints on retail establishments last year, which were about alluring ads or customer service or uh, return policies. So wow. people who don't know, they can always search uh, a business on the Better Business Bureau website Absolutely. as well. And it's important. I, I think you 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 always talk about asking around. You yeah. know, I mean, even just sharing thoughts with friends, with neighbors, whomever, yeah. people who are in a similar situation. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's nothing wrong with looking and finding a really good deal on a bulk item and then sharing that with a bunch of families or hosting or going to a clothing swap. I mean, I don't know about you, but my kids have clothes in their closets that still have tags on them, so why not swap that with somebody else? Yeah. I know you sort of uh, alluded to this, but a lot of times people aren't looking in depth, too, at return policies. They buy yeah. something, they think, okay, if my kid doesn't like it, if it doesn't work out, I can just return it, and that's not always the case. It's not always the case, especially if it's a really good price. It might be a... Um, a clearance item mm -hmm. that you just cannot return. If you don't have your child there and it doesn't fit them, you're not going to be able to return it and then you're out 100% of your money. And with a lot of people ordering things offline, keep that yeah. original packing yes. as well. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. So um, we just had Frank Frasetto who was mm -hmm. in talking about scams as well, but I know that's something that you're interested in as well. I mean, this, this group, this age group, teenagers, young adults, yeah. they think that they're, you know, that they're impenetrable. Yeah. They can't be harmed. Right. And yet, you hear stories all the time that they can't. I do. Um, you know, we're in an, uh, an age of our millennials where they think nothing can happen to them. Everything's online. They're going to click through really, really quick and not think about the consequences. Yeah. And yet. And yet. And yet. <laughs> yeah. They get scammed all the time. They get their computers broken into by ransomware. They order something online that never comes. Uh, they give their credit card number out, and then their credit card and their identity is stolen. Yeah, how important is that? I mean, you, you alluded to it earlier with people filling out forms about their social security number. I mean, it, it's so vital to kind of keep that information tight. Yeah, it should be personal. Um, you know, think about how many times you fill out a form from grade school to high school, mm -hmm. and you put a social security number on that. You should know where are those forms being held, how secure are they, um, if they put it in the computer and they have a form, what do they do with that form? You might have copies at home. Make sure you're shredding it. Yeah. Um, you don't have to always give all that information. You can ask, is there an alternative form of information I can give you? Even if the people kind of, you know, frown at you. Yeah, yeah they do yeah. that face. Yeah. They do <laughs> that face. It happens to me all the they time. They do. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but. and this is the second largest shopping season of the year. It is, $24.9 billion. That's an insane amount of money. It yeah. is. You should be careful. Yeah. All right. Be smart, too. Be smart. Be smart. BBB.org. BBB.org. Yeah. All right, Laura Mail, it's good to see you this morning. Good to see you guys. Thanks for your Thanks. time. We appreciate it.